Hi there, it's Mare. Just bringing to you my latest journal. Um, before I forget, please hit that subscribe button and like and comment on this video if you like. Okay, so I have today, um, this will be available in my Etsy shop, which is Lilac Pages. Um, this is named Charlotte. It's got beautiful paper, it's Prima paper. Um, let me give you the stats, nine and three quarters by six and a quarter. These are approximate 57 pages. Let me show you here, let me see. I've stitched all around. There's new and vintage laces throughout. Um, here's a metal medallion, it says Charlotte, and I've put some gold gilding polish on there to emphasize. Um, this is inspired by the PBS Masterpiece um, series, Sanditon, which um, Jane Austen started writing that book, and she got to, I believe, 11 chapters until she sadly passed away. So I know Andrew Davies, um, and I'm sure other people have adapted it for a, a season, hopefully more, um, and it was just amazing, and I loved it. And I will put a trailer link below along with my Etsy shop link and any other relevant relative information I'm trying to do this a little quicker than my last video so let's get started here is the spine a lot of uh, collage work there and some stitching a lot of vintage laces some sari silk vintage joily I have put a tassel on here of coordinating ribbons I've also get, put this beautiful semi-chunky charm. It's got little bows in pink. Most most colors, it represents most colors in this journal, which is pink, a light blue, gold, and basically if uh, the character Charlotte had kept a diary or brought one with her or a keepsake book, which most of mine um, could be construed as it is a very chunky book that does not close all the way, just so you're aware. Some ribbon for the closure that goes around the whole book. I've put Tyvek in the spine to uh, reinforce it, to make it stronger. Um, little charms at the ends of the signatures here. Uh, the front does have a pocket here that I've added some extra paper, coordinating paper in there. And this is a copy of a vintage newspaper article regarding Jane Austen's home where she wrote. So it's really interesting. The back is all white for some journaling spot. Journaling spots. First page here I've covered with this beautiful cotton um, fabric, some white fabric. These are library cards. It's, it's a fabric material that I've placed on some of these library cards and inked up. Jane Austen, of course. Stitch some sequins here, a little tag in this area, a little book plate, paper, and a flower, and it just tucks in there. Let me see if you can see this. This is altar paper clip that hangs down here. A little tuck spot here, but I've just added a little Jane Austen thing. Okay. Second page, this is just clipped on. Alterations tag that I've collaged and add some bling to it, of course. This is a little wood piece here on a ball pin. Um, I've seen this, Wendy's, Wendy's Adventures. I know everybody knows, probably knows who Wendy is, but put a little vintage picture in there that can be changed out. This is like a barn theme. Um, there's an area for some journaling here, some decoupage work there. Um, I know that Charlotte had said that she was on a farm with 11 brothers and sisters. That's where she started out. Here's a Sanditon book page that I've coffee dyed, and there's lots of stitching all over it for texture. Made a pocket there and put a journaling card in there. made this little dress that just reminded me of something that the character wore on the show. Uh, and all the characters were just phenomenal. 
And there's little tickets to put in there. This is elastic. You could add some, some more things in there. Little charm here. That opens up. Some journaling area there. Okay. Little pocket here. And I filled everything. Little game game card from Masterpiece of some artwork. A little journaling card here. I believe it's Stampier or Stamperia, however you pronounce it. Some parchment paper, and I did some stamping throughout, and then I covered it with some dry gesso, just a dry brush of it. Added some pink ruffle trim here. Made this belly band. That is a real vintage picture of a farm on a postcard here and some pink writing paper. There's a pocket that's gusseted with a journaling tag, little Jane Austen quote. She did say um, one of the lines was that she was uh, a farm girl, a country girl, I guess, that reads books. So here I put um, a book sheet here. I put washi tape to cover that color because I didn't care for it too well. Let's make sure I'm in frame. This one says Dreaming of the Sea. This little charm, and there's a little pen nub, and that is, that says Jean. And that is a Pride and Prejudice book, a little rose. And these are some copies of some library cards here. The Dewey Decimal, I think they're called. And that is on parchment paper, another little journaling card here. In this pocket, there's actually two little sections in here that are a pocket. Vintage lace, a little band here with a little die cut. Goes in here. That is an original vintage postcard. I just love looking at these old ones. And that goes back in there. And in this little pocket here, copy of a picture, and I believe that might be the original of this one. And just a little, a pin that I've altered and put a little collage piece on of some vintage lace. And on this book page, this pulls down like this. And I've made separate little sections here that you could add a word or so in it. And I've attached a little bag of those that you could embellish on your own. This side is a tuck. Journaling cards tucked up in there. Some coffee dyed lace paper. An envelope here. It says letters here. This is on canvas. This opens in just some copies of some just ephemera, a little postcards. And I've inked this up. And it just tucks in that little piece. Um, a lot of the spine is, I've, uh, well, not the spine, I'm sorry, a lot of the pages, I've put some washi tape or some lace or some fabric there. I just really like to reinforce it because my pages are very, um, very decorated. A lot of them are. Okay, this is just a, um, an envelope with a pocket there. The window pocket, and let me see which side it opens from. Is it the top? Yeah, the top. Okay, you can take this out and put your own picture in, it just slips in and out. And I, I did decoupage the behind it because I thought that was really pretty, just on its own, too. Okay. And that is a vintage picture, an original. And just some decoupage work here, a tag. And that just closes by turning this down. Okay, and that is also a pocket here. Just a vintage postcard. That was really pretty and it had a lot of the same colors in it. Copy of a vintage receipt, love the blue. 
some gesso over top here for easy writing here as well. Beautiful paper here of the, the beach scene. And in this lace, I have placed little shells and some pressed roses. And that's just a little heart and key there. And that pretty much just stays in there. But I thought they'd be really pretty with a picture or some writing on it. They just look great. So it's more of a keepsake. These are just pockets here that I've created. And there's a big journaling card here. And you could put letters in there. There's lots of room. Here I've put some graph paper. She's in the show. Charlotte's good at bookkeeping and stuff. So I just put some. This one is a vintage ledger sheet. Part of it anyway. Lots of area for journaling here. Put that back in the pocket. Oh, moving on quickly, trying to. Okay, here's an envelope. I don't remember. Oh, I have a hard time remembering who, who did these, but I did make a booklet, and I'll show you at a different time. But I just I had this extra envelope, so I put it here. It's a pocket. You can put lots of things in. Some, some washi tape here, and this is just a copy here. Oh, let's see, 1878, and it's in French. I've made a copy on some parchment paper and put it there. That would be great to journal on that. French writing is so pretty. Just made a little tuck spot here with some Prima. It's a chipboard um, piece. And what I did is I take a lot of the chipboard, the back off, to, so it's not so thick. And it's just a little tag here. Could be Artie Mays, not sure. Some more blue, here's blue parchment paper, a stamp type decoupage item there. A little journaling tag there. Some more space here. This is a glassine bag that I've um, stamped, gessoed, put some little rub-ons here. And let's see what I put in this side. This is an original, 1899. And this is an original postcard, vintage black and white postcard, which are my favorite. Let me see, it was in this one. Area here for journaling, vintage lace in there. And just, this is a original vintage postcard, and this is a copy of a postcard vintage one. Love the colors. Here's some area to journal here with a journaling card made into a pocket with another journaling card from the Prima set. I believe it's debutante, which is awesome. I think the dresses look like they're Regency to me. Maybe a little on the Victorian side, but I have the stamp set as well. Little chipboard piece, some uh, little collages there, and a tag. Another tag here, and just a journaling card. And it's a tea dyed and inked tea bag. And I should probably do this off camera. Anyway, some beautiful paper and a card from the collection. I think this is Finnevar. Sand it in with some gesso over it. Same with this one, a little rick rack on the bottom. This has its cloth, and I put a little gesso on it as well. I thought it would be really pretty a space for a photograph. I thought I'd change the, this with some handmade washi tape. A little die cut here. Some really pretty ribbon on it that has gold in it. Oops, journaling card. And a piece of paper here that is a Pride and Prejudice thing. Did some sewing. Put some, put some blue over on this sheet. Here's a little die cut envelope. Made this little matchbook out of a 
little vintage three decimal card, a little tag goes in there as well. And that is a tuck spot here. And this represents when she did go to Sanditon. And you'll have to watch the story, but anyway, this is a little tuck that you can be placed in this little piece here to hold it down. I need two hands for that. There we go. A little collaging, vintage doily. And I thought that'd be really great to put one of these. I loved the color match so well. You could put one of those words from the bag on that or a little note. This is a flip up. And I've de decoupaged the hinge as well. And they did have swimming back then, so that just represents it. Did some sewing, some ruffle ribbon there. I made a little booklet that says Seaside Resort. And it has some vintage music paper as a cover and just different little papers. I've just single stitched that in. Papers here. This folds down. Great journaling spot, and it is on magnet, so closes there. Little pocket here with a feather, and I've got some journaling. Oh, another little piece of ledger paper, and a little journaling card that I've backed with coffee dyed paper. And made this little journaling card here and put some lines on it. And that goes in back here. And then this one, I've put a little tag on it, a little die cut. And I just love that paper. And that's a chipboard piece from it. And this, I've just stuck on the clip, because that's an envelope here. And I've made a tag out of a card that I had. And that's the envelope. And I can put to where I got the envelope from in the description box. Just put another little French ephemera that I had. Copied that on parchment and inked it up. Great area again for journaling. I will put that back in a little bit. Made a little tuck spot here at the top and also on the side. Journaling card, copy of a, a vintage check, book page book page area for journaling. Here is another dress and it just says Miss Haywood. It was Charlotte Haywood. And then here's just a little Jane Austen quote and a little, a little card here. Some lace, a little rose cabbage in there. And I believe this is from Georgia Blue's line from Stamperia. And there's a little cutout. And here's Mr. Parker, which it was Sydney Parker. And I really hope they do a season two of that because I just thought it was so good. And this just folds out here. I have a, put a little London thing on there because it does, um, Mr. Parker has something to do with that. And I won't ruin it by telling everybody the complete story little tag there. This is a pocket. I've put a bookmark and have this copy of a vintage picture there of a man. Little Jane Austen thing. Put that back in there. And this little cabochon there. I believe it, it's supposed to be Mr. Darcy, but I thought it went well with this as well made the little fold out terry wood and it opens up into a full piece of paper for journaling and then just folds right in here I'll get to it in a minute a little tag from a different paper collection and another little tag there with that's embellished i do buy buy these and on Etsy. Did a little collage with some vintage lace here. Dress um, journaling card here. Did a little decoupage here. Looks like it's being stitched. Just really liked it. 
little piece of ephemera here in this pocket and made this tag in this pocket with a topper on it and that can come undone and up. Some lines on the back. This just reminded me of the town of Sanditon, so I cut that out. I think it was on some packaging. Some little tickets here that could be journaled on, and a little tag. How am I doing? 20. Okay, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Okay. Made the little up and down here tuck with some ephemera that tucks in here, and this cute little blue bag that I've used some, did some stamping on it. I just thought it went really well. More paper, gessoed, stamped, and a big tag here. And little clusters. I know a lot of people were making those, and I have so much fun doing it because I have so many scraps. And this side, a tuck spot here with a journaling card. Little romance music sheet there. And this is an invitation to a ball, and this is where a lot of the gold gold comes in. And I've done some stenciling, um, made up that invitation with the little masquerade. It was a masquerade ball that was in the show as well. And there's a little coffee dyed paper on the back of that one. And you open this up. And I just thought the whole room, whoever did all the set, set decorations, they're just just amazing. Chandeliers and little mirrors. So I did the best I could with um, trying to trying to put that together. There's a little tag here in here from the paper collection. And here was a famous quote, Andrew Davies, I believe, wrote that. And it says, there are so many other ladies here that you could ask. That's what Charlotte said, but I don't want to dance with them. And that's what Sydney said. And again, not my quote. Andrew Davies' quote, I believe, who wrote it. And a little dress that I made. And made it a pocket. And there's a little masquerade mask. little tickets and if you can see them it says like number three on it or whatever and it's stamped with gold and it's just a pivotal part in the series where things um, changed between them and I just thought it with the dance and such were just magical and this I made a pocket out of this gold and cream lace fabric another cluster that I've added Jane Austen's name to and there's a C for Charlotte. This is just a little material, a fabric, little booklet. It'd be great to pin little things in, I thought. Some more rub-ons and stamping. And this says Sydney and Charlotte on it. And that is a man cannot step into the same river twice for he is not the same man and it is not the same river. Heraclitus, um, it was said in the series, I know that there's a lot of quotes that are similar to this, but I chose to write the one that they said in the actual series. Here's a little Jane Austen book paper envelope, and this can come out for some journaling. Journaling spot here and here. I thought the colors went together well. That just says grand time. There is another ball. I think there's like three in the whole series. Memories in my soul, it says there. And that is the regatta ball. And I just pinned, made this little tag thing and pinned it here with a little bling on it. And this reminded me of the dress that Charlotte wore. And it is a pocket. And there's some more ephemera, original vintage card, and another card from the Georgia Blues collection. Areas to put pictures and journal. Another book page with gesso on it. A little flip up here. And it is a pocket. 
copy of a vintage receipt, two of them that are put together. And this is vintage, I had to back it because it was really falling apart. But it looks like they do coaches as well. So at the end of the season, there's a scene with a, a carriage. A lot of um, decoupage work there and collaging. Place for journaling. Here's a, a quote that I really liked from Byron and a die cut of a carriage that I put together. Um, it is another beach scene, but on top of it, I added some trees and a road um, that kind of just, to me, it symbolized um, Charlotte going to her home. I won't say any more than that. And that says, this day we'll leave silent footprints. And then it's another rub on. I put the words together. Made these two dual pockets, another vintage postcard, and this is the front of a a card that just has a beach scene on it with two children. Thought it was very cute. And that is the end of that. And there's the back, all those pretty dresses. And that is it. Okay, again, it'll be available on my Etsy shop, which is Lilac Pages. Thanks for, for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.